Hi guys, Melita here from Artful Fancies, also known as Lita Bells in the DigiScrap community. I've finally finished my very first Amy Tangerine Day book and I wanted to just take a quick minute and share it with you guys. I finally decided to base it on the top 12 things that have made me happy in 2012. So let's have a look. I started off by just putting a little photo strip here. It's just an Instagram pic that I got printed off at my local office supply store. Um, all of the photos in here are from there. And I've used only uh, Amy Tangerine sketchbook goodies here with a little bit of added washi tape, some alpha stickers and a bit of craft paper here and there. Okay, so I've got the top 12 things that make me happy. They are definitely not in any order of the most exciting to the least or anything like that. Basically I based it on what fit where. Some, uh, some of my top moments had a lot of photos to go with them, some of them only one. So I've just slotted it in however it will work. Uh, this first one. Um, 30 years old and I finally brought myself my very first bunch of flowers. After years of expecting the man <laughs> to get them for me, I finally decided why not? If I want flowers, I'm going to go out and get them. So that was a big moment for me. Um, I've made a cute little tab here using some of the fabric stickers that are part of Amy's sketchbook line. Um, you'll see that I've also put a bit of gesso here on the page. That's just because some of the papers are really intense backgrounds, which is hard to stamp and write on. Okay, this one here. No gesso on this one, but I have used some of my Neo Color watercolor crayons just to add a bit of extra color to it. This was actually the first time that I was ever published in a magazine. That happened earlier this year, and the issue went on sale in August. So definitely a highlight of the year, so I wanted to include that. So a picture of me with my layout, and of course, cover of the magazine. And over here I've made a little pocket with the envelope, and that actually contains the check that I was sent for allowing them to publish my work. It's kind of the scrapbooker's version of framing the first dollar you ever made. Okay, this one here. All right, I know it's shoes and you're probably thinking, you know, a little bit odd. But for years I've kind of had it stuck in my head that all I could wear was black and brown and, you know, normal, straight, boring kind of colours. And I wanted these shoes right or wrong. But kept thinking, I can't possibly wear yellow. Everybody will make fun of me. Everybody will laugh. Ended up biting the bullet, brought them for my birthday. And guess what? The work continued turning. Nobody cared, so I kind of got a new obsession now for funky coloured shoes. So of course I had to put some of them in. Of course I've got the gesso here again, just otherwise I could not write on that paper. And I did a little bit of pen work, a bit of washi down there. Okay, this page kind of goes without saying. These are my girls, my daughters Haley and Emily. Absolutely love these girls. Total dorks. Seriously funny and just the cutest kids ever. And of course I'm not biased. So obviously they had to make it into the book. Uh, this one here. I converted our garage last year into an art studio. But at first I didn't really spend much time out there. This year though I've been kind of living out there and I'm absolutely loving it. My hubby actually brought me an easel uh, about three or four weeks ago I think it was now. And I'm loving that. So a picture of that, obviously my new little baby. And I got a friend to take a photo of me actually using it. This one... <laughs> Okay, I'm laughing at myself because this one seems kind of funny, I know. But Typo Store recently opened at my local shopping centre and I am in love. Have a look at these goodies. Got these really cute stamps here. I've got the Oh My God, What The F, Epic, really cute notebooks. I found a really nice diary as well. I'm kind of a stationary geek, so this is my idea of heaven. Got another little fabric tab there. And just an explanation of why on earth I've put Typo in there. Okay, this one here, I really love. I was lucky enough to actually meet Amy Tangerine earlier this year and do a make and take class with her. So what I've done is stuck the card in that we made as part of the class. So now when I flip it open, excuse the shakiness of the video, I'm doing this with my phone. So when I flip it open, I've got extra room to write over here. See, photo of me with Amy. This photo I actually snagged off somebody else's Instagram feed because I didn't think to get a photo of Amy on her own. So if you recognise this photo, I apologise for not giving you credit, but for the life of me, I cannot remember who I got it from. This is my best friend, Karen. We actually went to the class together. Thankfully, it was her that came across the opportunity to actually do the class. It was an awesome day. Amy is an absolute doll. So I've just got the back of the card here, and I've put some packaging from one of... Amy's products and just listed what my favourite things of hers are. Okay, getting breathless here. This one here, 
obviously, new glasses. For years I've had the most boring glasses you can imagine. These thin little metal frames look really old fashioned, really not me. So I bit the bullet this year. Got something a bit funkier with a nice teal inside. Absolutely love it. I just put a little bit of my Neo Colors again on this page because it was just the grid paper. It was kind of plain. So I just dressed it up a little bit. And I've got brand new sunnies too. First pair of proper prescription sunglasses. It's like a whole new world I can actually see. All right, this year we've also spent a lot more time having family outings. And uh, it might not seem like much to most people, but we've really been enjoying it. It's meaning a lot to us. This one here, Hubby decided he was going to take us all out for dinner. Very last minute, but it was really cool. Got a little bit of swatch, uh, not swatch, what's it called? The smash tape there as well. This one here, we took them to the farm this weekend, just gone actually. They have an annual show day at our local farm. Free entry and really affordable with everything else, so we love taking them there. This one, we went to the circus. This was actually the first time that Emily had ever been to a circus, and only the second time for both Cameron and Hayley. And the first time that Cameron and Hayley had actually seen a circus that really had animals, so it was pretty cool. I still had the tickets that I'd kept. Scrapbookers never throw anything out, so I popped them in, a little bit of journaling. If I'd thought about it properly, I probably would have put a bit of gesso here before I'd, I did my journaling, so you could see it a bit clearer. But really, it's probably only going to be me that bothers to read it, <laughs> so I don't really don't think it matters. Okay, this one here, I actually still have two blank spots. I wanted to do this spread here about my love of technology, but I didn't think ahead, and I haven't printed pictures of the new laptop or of my Kindle and all that sort of stuff, so these are blank until I get that done. But I have popped in the iPhone. Brand new 4S, and it's my little baby, I love it. And I've just put a little list of my favourite apps. Again, though, I probably should have gessoed before I did that writing. Got another little fabric tab down here. I am loving these from Amy, they're awesome. Okay, this is definitely the major highlight. After being with my partner for 14 years, and engaged for 9 of them, we finally tied the knot. It was amazing. I will be honest and say it definitely wasn't the perfect wedding. There are things that I would change if I could, but my marriage is exactly what I want it to be and that's all that matters to me right now. So of course I had to put that one in there. I've put quite a few pages for this one. I've just listed here what song I walked down the aisle to, um, the song we first danced to, Maid of Honour and all that sort of stuff. Over here I actually have a copy of the um, invitation. And yes, I realise you can see my phone number there, but it's an old number, so I don't have any worries at all about putting that out on the net. Um, over here, I've just added an envelope and actually printed off a copy of the ceremony. Popped that in there. Cried like a baby rereading that, let me tell you. Um, this little piece here was just actually from when I wrapped some matchboxes for the reception, which, by the way, I don't think anybody used. I have about 50 boxes of matches left over. And apparently I totally forgot this little one. Oh, well. Um... My man. Of course I have to do a page about Cam. This guy is my rock and it would not make sense to not include him in this. Um, this year we've been focusing a lot more on having us time. We have a regular weekly date night. It's usually just a movie and pizza on the couch. Nothing too fancy. But it's dedicated us time. We wait till the girls are in bed and we can sit and talk without interruption. Don't have to get anybody a snack or a drink. Nobody needs anything. It's just pure us time. So that's been a very important part of this year for me. Oh, and I just wrote down some songs here that remind me of him. Very soppy, so don't worry about reading that bit. I haven't put anything on this little tab here, purely because it's kind of small. I really can't think what to put on there, so for now I'm just leaving it. And I thought I'd use the last couple of pages just for some added extras, a little summary sort of thing. And yes, 2012 was definitely epic for me. Um, down here I've just put a couple of extra things that were pretty big for me this year. Um, every Friday night I have a regular art date with Karen and that has been absolutely awesome. I'm lucky enough to see tea for some really talented digital scrapbook designers and that's definitely been a highlight of my year. Um, I've, become <laughs> I've become obsessed with bangles and bracelets. It's just, yeah, I can't get enough of them. Also, chocolate frappes from McDonald's. I don't care how bad they are for me. Don't want to know. I just love them. My hen's night, definitely a huge deal. And I finally got a subscription to my favourite scrapbooking magazine. So yeah, definitely a big deal. This one's still blank because I'm still trying to think what I want to put there. Um, just a little summary there basically about how it's been a pretty good year. Some wishes for next year. Big and small things that I'd like to happen. You've probably noticed in my book 
what I have put is an all huge goals. Well, not huge goals, huge events, sorry. I'm not one of those people that needs big gestures. I'm happy with lots of little things, so I made a point of including that in my book. It doesn't all have to be big and fancy. Little things will make me happy, that's for sure. So I've got some wishes for next year. I'd like to actually go on a family holiday because we've never been on one. I'd love to be published in an art journaling magazine. I'd like to actually sell one of my art pieces. I want to take myself out for dinner. I know that seems totally random. But yeah, I just would like to go out to dinner alone. I'd like to teach a live mixed media class. I taught one online previously, but I'd really like to actually teach a live class. I'd like to take the kids to the snow. I'd love to actually have a honeymoon because we've yet to do that. And I'd like to spend the day exploring Melbourne, which is the city where I live. Well, I live in the outer suburbs, but it's the capital city of my state. And I'd like to actually just spend some time exploring. And on the back, 2012 was awesome. Wonder what's in store for 2013. So there you go. My very first Amy Tangerine Day book. I had way too much fun with this. And now really need to catch up on some housework. Because, yeah, kind of let things slide. But yeah, thank you for joining me and having a little look. If you've created a day book, and especially if you have a video, I would love to see. I'm all for getting inspiration from other people and basically just being nosy. Anyway, thanks for taking some time with me and I hope to see you soon. Bye.